What is going on YouTube? We are back with part two of Lake. Uh, honestly, from the time that I played part one to now, uh, I've been super excited. I've been wanting to play this. So uh, we'll go ahead and jump into it. Now, uh, we are a mail person delivering mail temporarily for our dad uh, to avoid the full-time job. So, I mean, this game is, uh, it's fun. It's relaxing. That's what anybody needs. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. It's now on the 26th. I uh, hope you all had a fantastic holiday. Hopefully this time we can actually figure out the map and stuff. And remember, if you like the video, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button for future content. I will very much appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and start with day two of delivering the mail. Uh, that's supposed to be off. Hold on. Keep radio on. Off. Okay. So we're just going to turn music all the way down. All right, no music. Uh, copyright claims, apparently. Game is super peaceful. Wonder what kind of stuff we have going on today. Oh, we got a bunch. Oh, uh, let's see. So that's a package. On Main Street. All right. I'll just turn around up here. Also, I like. I knew that I wanted to play this game when I seen the trailer for it, but I didn't know I was going to be excited to do part two. And I'm super excited to show you guys this. This is free on Game Pass, by the way. You have Game Pass, and I think on Steam it's about fifteen dollars right now. So, oh, so far, very much worth it. The Flick Shack? What is that? Okay, so this is the Main Street package. Oh, oh, this is a video store. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know what that meant. Hey, buddy, delivering some mail. Here you go. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. What do you mean? <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, East. Oh, I thought it was so, uh, what brings Weiss. You to Providence Oaks? Um, well, I used to live here. Then I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Touche, well, Mrs. Awkward Eastman. Awkward conversation, man. Yes. So your dream was to rent Super out awkward. videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. Oh, we get to watch a movie. Postman always rings twice. Oh my god, of course it's about a male person. <laughs> my kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. 
All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Awkward. Can I talk to her again? Hope you like the postman always rings twice. You only have to watch it once. <laughs> okay, that's all that conversation was. Let's get out of here. Back to the mail truck. Please tell me I can get in from this side. Okay, thank God. Alright. Okay, we need to go up. I don't know what streets is this. So this is 3rd Street. So 104. Oh wait, do I not have to pick it? Oh, thank God, it automatically picks it. Okay, that's, that's easy enough. And then this is 402 Pine Street. Get out. This is, I mean, I, I didn't expect I this game to be hard by any means, but I don't know, this is like getting used to it. It's relatively easy. It's very calming. Ding dong. Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we landed the rocket. The ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Okay, they're just playing with their kid. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait. What? Meredith? Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing, the helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for... Alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Let's keep this positive, well, I guess. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so. Time flies. So I heard you were back in town for a while from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! What's that mean? Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and what? I have to get ready for work. Someone got upset. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. 
you can say that again. What just happened? It was from like so happy to not. I don't know why my E button, my E key doesn't want to work. I'm gonna pop a U in the middle of the street. Oh, look how easy this is going to be. It's a dead end street. Are they both male too? Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? I'm guessing none of your business, Meredith. Who's having a party? Does it not allow me to run people over? What a wholesome game. Oh god, that parcel is way out there. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Is this the same cat lady? How do you constantly have mail, lady? I have questions. Oh god, and she's outside. Wonderful. You guys didn't see her on part one. She is uh, very rude. Meryl, dear! Great. So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't I mean I'm not a vet but he looks fine to me well fact is you're not a vet are you do you know who knows about animals though is Mr. Mackey he runs the open oh, shop no. could you take Mortimer to him what is this like cat dash sure I'll get right oh on it oh my gosh Here, little kitty come on Wonderful! Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Mortimer! Oh, God. We're gonna take this freaking cat. What if I had to walk like the whole way? That would be terrible. Let's deliver this piece of mail and then I guess we'll drop Mortimer off. I have to, oh no, come on. I have to drop the cat off first. 
That's ridiculous. You can drift the postal truck? No, no, I was wrong. Oh my gosh, all these stairs, I missed them. It's not even the wrong place to go. Here? No? Where am I supposed to go? I'm gonna mirror the twice. Oh, he's not even inside. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but. What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. He's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? There's a cute cat. To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Bye, Mortimer. I can't believe that I have to go all the way back. Where's that package? Oh my gosh. Oh, excuse me, guys. So while we're in a very quiet part of the, of the game, 
Uh, I do wish all of you a very happy New Year's. Uh, let me know in the comments like what your New Year's resolution is. Used to so, think yeah. our Spanner Dam was very just curious as to know. big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Very curious to know what your resolutions are, what you have planned, your goals. get the box out. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. It looks like me. Literally. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Okay, sir. Is that a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right, have a nice day. Wow, super talkative guy. All right, so we have one more package and let's see, we're about 20 minutes into the game. Holidays have me worn out. Let's take this old dirt road. I don't know, I'm just curious to see what the point of it is. Oh, it just slows me down. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. Oh, so the little spots that you go into, I guess, tells a little bit more. Oh, gosh. Tells a little bit more about Meredith Weiss. Having to have the music off, man, these drives in the post office truck are just excruciating. I think we're almost there, so. What do you mean reset? Wow. So I guess you can get your postal truck very stuck on here. You have to get a reset. <clears throat> I'm 
Calling it a day. Yeah, well, today's over ID it took forever. What is that? There's something special. Or is that the post Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I understand the assignment now. That is a handbrake. You can drift the post office truck. Wow. Only sometimes, though. Interesting. That's the end of that work day. Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. This is the job that she hates. What are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send it to your post office, right? I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> what a terrible boss. Uh, oh yeah, so we need to watch this movie. Alright. Well, let's watch this. Morning. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Okay, so I I want I just want to go to the video store wherever that went. Uh, let's see, here no. Over here no campground. Where is the video store? Oh okay okay, so just want to go there and then we'll call it the end of the video. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive or that G. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Oops. Left the package in the truck. On earth do these folks order? You know who these folks are. I just want to return the video. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You've watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, 
And a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. Stephanie Spielhilver presents Back to the Present. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. You in? All right. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Inviting yourself over. That's quite impertinent. Well, hey, do you want to know my sneaky little plan or not? Oh, well... It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Partner? It's kind of cringy. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video of the lake. Uh, next time we will pick up Mortimer the cat and we'll see what Angie wants at 5 o'clock. Make sure you stay tuned for part 3 of this great video game. Probably about a 9 out of 10 recommend. Um, there's parts of it that are a bit slow, but so far it's been great. Hopefully that will improve. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you next time.